Okay, so we're Team 28. We're detecting uh, asparagus infested with moth eggs. Um, I'm Kelly Gogger. This is Tomas Barraza, Eric Cook, and Elizabeth Orozco Sanchez. So in South America, there's a problem with a sp specific species of moth laying its eggs on the asparagus spears. And so what we're trying to do is help minimize the amount of washing that's needed and the amount of pesticides used because when the asparagus is imported into America, what we want to do is make sure that we're not using the pesticides as much. We're sending clean asparagus. We have a ramp that Elizabeth built. We have lighting and a camera that Tomas was responsible for. I was responsible for our detection algorithm and Eric was responsible for the GUI and the user interface. For video purposes and just overall speed and reliability, we decided to use the MATLAB toolboxes to accomplish this. Um, we work with the computer vision and webcam packages to create a system of blob analysis where we first find a green object and within that green object, we search for white particles of a certain size. These, of course, representing uh, the moth eggs uh, that are commonly laid on these asparagus. All right, um, so for the ramp, uh, we started off with a wooden ramp and uh, sort of a inclination so we can control the inclination of the ramp. Um, we switched to T-slotted framing. Uh, that way we have sort of a mounting bracket so we can have the camera and we can control where it exactly it is. Um, so from the uh, T-slotted framing, we can control the angle of the ramp, we can control how fast the asparagus is rolling down, and um, we, wanna, we wanted to do a ramp so that we can get 360 degree view of the asparagus. Um, and so as well as being able to control the angle, we can control how, fo like how in front or behind or at the end of the ramp the camera is, as well as the height of the ramp um, by moving it up and down. Um, like Tomas said, it uses blob analysis, so it looks for the green within the frame and it numbers the spear. And then if it sees any white within the box, it changes the box to a red color from green. And then it's marked as infested in the log. All right, so for the user interface, we had to, uh, had to try to take as much uh, of the heavy uh, loading away from the MATLAB threads because MATLAB is predominantly a single threaded uh, scripting language. So we wanted to make sure that the main event being the, uh, the alg detection algorithm uh, got all the, t all the CPU time it needed. So for instance, the, uh, the clock is running in a, a separate Java thread. So it updates that and updates the runtime log as the spears are, are, uh, are found. And then whenever you end the run, it can save all of that st all the statistics to, a, to an archive so that you can look at these things later. The hardest challenge probably was to write the detection algorithm because we had both the two second time limit, the 98% accuracy, and it ended up numbering the spears was very difficult and trying to keep a live video feed and numbering them that was probably the biggest challenge, I think, of the whole project. Um, I think a bit, very big factor was communication. Um, I think it's really important to start early, uh, plan ahead, definitely have a schedule, have make sure that we have a plan as to who's doing what. I'd also say that Tomas was running all of the camera stuff, and while he was doing that, I was running some MATLAB stuff in parallel. So we were exploring multiple avenues, and I think that really helped our project do well and that if we hadn't been running in parallel, we wouldn't have done nearly as well, and I don't think we would have finished. Lastly, I'd say it's very important, it's very important to uh, make sure you leave time for whenever something messes up, because it's inevitably going to happen. 